In the depths of space, on a small blue planet called Earth, there was a bustling town in the Wild West called Dusty Gulch. The town was surrounded by vast desert plains, towering cacti, and rugged mountains that stretched as far as the eye could see. It was a place where cowboys rode their horses, and the spirit of adventure was alive and well. In Dusty Gulch lived a young boy named Noah. Noah was an adventurous and curious boy with a heart full of dreams. He loved exploring the town and listening to the stories of the old cowboys. One day, while wandering near the edge of town, Noah stumbled upon a cave. Inside the dark, cool cave, he met a bat named Brian. Brian was no ordinary bat. He had a unique ability to speak and a deep knowledge of the world. He had traveled far and wide, learning about different cultures and histories. Noah and Brian quickly became friends, and Brian shared many fascinating stories with Noah. One evening, as the sun set over the desert, Noah and Brian sat on a hill overlooking Dusty Gulch. They saw a group of people setting up tents and wagons in the distance. Noah's eyes widened with excitement as he realized it was a Wild West show. The next day, Noah and Brian eagerly went to see the show. It was run by a Union veteran named Colonel Samuel. He was a tall, stern man with a thick mustache and a deep voice. The show featured daring horseback riders, sharpshooters, and reenactments of famous battles. The crowd cheered and clapped. But Noah noticed that Colonel Samuel seemed distant and troubled. As Noah and Brian watched the show, they overheard Colonel Samuel talking to one of his performers. He spoke of the war and the injustices he had witnessed. The memories haunted him, and he struggled to find peace. Noah felt a deep sense of empathy for the Colonel and decided to help him. Noah and Brian devised a plan. They would gather stories from the people of Dusty Gulch and share them with Colonel Samuel. They hoped that hearing about the kindness and bravery of the townsfolk would help him heal. They spent days talking to cowboys, miners, and settlers, collecting tales of heroism and compassion. One story stood out to Noah. It was about a young woman named Clara who had saved a group of children from a band of outlaws. She had shown incredible courage and selflessness and her story deeply moved Noah. He decided that this was the story that would touch Colonel Samuel's heart. Noah and Brian approached Colonel Samuel and asked if they could share Clara's story with him. The Colonel listened intently as Noah recounted the tale. Tears welled up in Colonel Samuel's eyes as he realized that there was still goodness and bravery in the world, even after all the horrors he had witnessed. With a renewed sense of hope, Colonel Samuel decided to make a change. He transformed his Wild West show into a celebration of the heroism and resilience of the people of Dusty Gulch. The show now featured stories of courage, kindness, and unity, inspiring everyone who watched. Noah and Brian's friendship grew even stronger as they continued to explore and learn together. They knew that they had made a difference in Colonel Samuel's life and in the lives of the people of Dusty Gulch. The town was filled with a newfound sense of hope and community, thanks to the efforts of a young boy and his wise bat friend. And so, in the heart of the Wild West, Noah and Brian's adventure came to a close but their bond and the lessons they learned would last a lifetime.